Hello, I'm back with the Oldie But Goodie alternative to Distress Ink and Paint. A great alternative to Distress Inks and Paint is shoe polish. Um, the Dollar Tree used to carry this one. I don't know if they still carry rather this one anymore. You can find this one. It is a good one to use. This is another one that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, but I'm sure they have other uh, brands of shoe polish. Okay, I have my paper and I have the pendant from uh, the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use it as a stencil. So we're just going to go ahead and get in there. Oh, I think it turned out great. Don't forget to act to blot your um, applicators on a separate piece of paper before you start so it doesn't gush out onto your page that you're working on. And you can control how much color you want, the intensity of the color, by your, the pressure you put down on the applicator. Now I'm going to try um, a doily from the Dollar Tree. I just love how this is turning out. You see them in your Dollar Tree, pick them up because this makes great background paper. You could go around this, the edges with it as we do with um, our distress stain. And it looks just like it. You know, if you can't run out to go get your distress stain, here is a good alternative. And it's fun too. And you could distress your um, book pages too. I've even used this instead of tea dyeing because if you just run your applicator over your page, mm -hmm. it mimics the look of of tea or coffee, coffee stain. And mixing the colors together really has a nice effect on your page. It's too bad. Like I say, I mean, you see it. If they sell it in your Dollar Tree still, pick it up. It's worth picking up. It's really fun to use. And after you use it as a stencil, don't throw away that pendant because it could be placed in um, your junk journals, your glue books, trashy junk journals, all of the above. And if odor is a concern of yours, the smaller applicators have no odor at all. The larger one has um, a mild one, no more than magic markers, and once it dries, they all disappear. And if you look back in the beginning of my video, you'll see that you can use shoe polish to, to also stain your, your uh, laces and things of that nature. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye!